Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we have a very epic video for you guys. We're going to be covering a lot about present plunder and what the best brawlers in it are. I found that there are six brawlers that are just above the rest when it comes to how overpowered they are in the mode and they are basically unbeatable if you guys can use them together and use them properly. We're going to cover roughly two minutes per brawler and just go over how to win with them, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, etc. And you guys are going to learn a lot and get very easy trophies from this. Now, why are we doing present plunder in specific? It is a limited time mode and everyone is on it. It's also a new mode, so not a lot of people know the meta. A lot of people are just running random brawlers. And unless you have all 1Ks like me, you're basically going to play people that have no clue what they're doing in the mode and you guys can run them over and just destroy them. So we're going to hop into some gameplay, but first we got a little bit of a special video for you guys. So we're going to hop into this and then we're going to get into the game. So with that being said, let's hop into it. The holidays are upon us and the fine folks at D3GO are bringing tidings and cheer for everyone this holiday season in Marvel Puzzle Quest. For those of you that have not heard of Marvel Puzzle Quest yet, we have an insane treat for you guys. Marvel Puzzle Quest is Marvel's only Match 3 RPG mobile game and you guys can download it for free today. In Marvel Puzzle Quest, you can customize your own team from characters that are in the Marvel Universe. Some of these characters include Spider-Man, Hulk, Deadpool, Black Widow, Luke Cage, and Gambit. There are more than 200 superheroes and villains from you guys to pick from and customize your team with. Once your team is set, you can join your friends or other Marvel enthusiasts and be a part of a very strong alliance. You can compete in weekly tournaments against other players on the leaderboard that will reward yourself and the alliance that you're in. We all enjoy a great comic story, right? Well, battle your way through some very well-written events that occur inside the game from the Marvel Universe and participate in various Marvel-inspired stories. Events like 12 Days of Marvel, Snowball Fight, Festive Fights, and many more will make sure to get you in the holiday season to take place in some puzzle quests. And make sure to check out the debut of the new Puzzle Ops feature. It's going to be in the Fireside Puzzles 5-Day Unlock section. Go check that one out. Also, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Ham is flying back into action as a special limited time character. Thank you to Marvel Puzzle Quest for sponsoring us today. Download Marvel Puzzle Quest for free right now on your mobile device. If you are as excited as we are for what Scarlet Witch has in store for 2021, then you guys are going to like this. D3GO has hooked up all new players with a free Scarlet Witch. All you guys have to do is download the game. Just use whatever link necessary for you guys to use in the description below and you guys are going to get your free in-game gift. So coming in at number six, we're going to have Mortis. Now Mortis is a very strong brawler in the current meta as is. Now a lot of you guys were kind of confused as to why Mortis got buffed. Now I'm obviously left in the dark. I'm obviously not told these things. I'm making just assumptions like you guys would make. But the reason why I think Mortis got a buff is because a lot of spawnables got a buff. Things, for example, Nita that has a Nita bear, Jesse which has a turret, Penny's going to be better in the meta, Mr. P with a turret. So things that Mortis is extremely hard countered by all got buffed. So I think they just buffed Mortis to kind of even it out. But as you guys can tell, Mortis is an extremely strong brawler in the meta and is very good in this mode as well. So why is Mortis so good? So Mortis' number one thing and ability in this mode is obviously, you know, dribbling the present. Getting the present, supering it back out, it's very important. But Mortis is also really good at killing the other meta brawlers in this mode. There's usually a defender or something, and Mortis is really good at just dashing in, getting that quick kill, and then getting the present and dashing out. It's also really good at defending as well. As you guys see, I kind of mess up there. Mortis isn't something that's consistently good throughout the whole game, like a Nita or a Jesse. It's something like you make a big play here or there, you go in over and over, and eventually you're going to make that big play. Now, another thing with Mortis is that in this game mode, something that happens a good amount of the time is that your teammate brings the present up halfway across the map and then dies, and you just need to touch that present for one second to reset the cooldown. Mortis gets to that present faster than any other brawler in the game. Thus, it's really good at resetting that cooldown. Very, very good. As you guys see, we're going to snipe that Daryl over there, give the ball to Jigsaw, and just like that, Mortis goes in and in and in, and eventually it all lines up perfectly for a game-winning play, and Mortis is going to be able to take that dub. So this is why we have Mortis as our number six brawler in present. It used to be better. It used to be number one or two, but at the moment, it is not that great. It is going to stay at number six outside of the top five. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys the next brawler. So coming in at number five, we have Colt. Now Colt 
is one of the strongest brawlers in this current meta. It is so ridiculously good. The gadget is so ridiculously good. It's kind of like the Brock rocket with the 3k, a little bit less overpowered, but also very overpowered in a different way. Because of the Colt speed, you can kind of just run up to someone's face, as you guys saw I did with that Jesse right there, and just get a really easy 3k on it. Most of the time, you don't even need to aim it. I'm just going to bring the ball to the water, get it above, so that's going to be a really easy goal. But Cole is the best just attacker in the game. It's just so consistently good. The damage that it does, everything about it is so good. It's really great for defense. It counters a lot of like that tank meta that's in the game right now. Um, and it's just a strong brawler. It's really good against turrets because you can obviously just snipe them and take them out. There are so many upsides to Colt. If you're a good Colt player, it's basically unstoppable right now. Now, the only downside to it is it's not as consistent as the other four brawlers that's above it. It does have its moments, probably the best moments of any of the brawlers on the list. But when it comes to pure consistency, sometimes you can just miss or the other team can just have a Piper or something or a B, something that just counters Colt. And you're not going to be able to get the win. Um, or just not play consistently throughout the entirety of the game. So Colt, again, is a really good brawler, makes a lot of special plays. It is one of the best brawlers in the meta in the game, not just in present plunder. But as it stands right now, we're going to give it the number five spot in present. Let's move over into the next brawler and show you guys what it is. So coming in at the number four spot, we're going to have Daryl. Now, Daryl is the best attacker in the game, in my opinion. Now, Jesse and Shelly are usually defenders when it comes to this mode, sometimes even Gale. But Daryl is just so good with that rolling ability. It's so easy just to get that present and get out. You can either walk up to it and then super it out, walk up to it, pass it somewhere and super onto it, super onto the present and get out. There's so many ways for you to easily get the present. As you guys can see, I just waited for the Gale to waste super, rolled on him, got two easy kills, and because I'm Daryl, I'm just able to throw it over and basically solo get that present very easily. And I'm going to be trying to do the same thing again, just staying up here and trying to make a play. Going to roll on the Gale, move the present a little bit forward. Going to try and make a play. Unfortunately, though, I'm not going to be able to, but I'm going to stay alive for a little bit. Going to go for that kill over there. Unfortunately, we're not going to get it. We're going to be going down. But again, as you guys see, we're applying a ton of pressure. Rinse is going to do a really good job over there of getting the present. I'm going to respawn. He's going to throw it over. I can easily just roll onto it. No one can stop me, and that is going to be game. Daryl is really good for those quick and easy games. If you just want to roll in, get that present, roll out, and work really well with your team, Daryl is the number one attacking brawler when it comes to present. Now, moving into our top three, it was really hard to decide between two and three. Number one, I feel like is very fairly obvious, but two and three are a little bit difficult. So coming in at number three, we're going to have Jesse. Now, Jesse is probably the best defender brawler in the game, maybe the second or third best if you like a couple other brawlers instead. But it is not arguable that Jesse is one of the best brawlers for present plunder. With that turret, all you really need to do is stay on the fence, plop that turret right on your present, and with the star power and the gadgets, it's basically impossible for a brawler to just come onto your present, take it, and walk away, and just you not being able to do anything. You're going to have to really find a way to throw as Jesse if that's going to happen to you. As you guys can tell, really easy to hold control. I even went down. This isn't really my greatest gameplay in the world with Jesse. He kind of just recorded one game and showed you guys, but they can't really do anything. Most teams that you face, as you guys can see, we're facing one as well, will have a defender, Jackie, or not Jackie, sorry, Jesse. Um, it's just so hard to get past. It takes a while. The turret is super annoying. You got to focus on the turret as well as getting the present and throwing it over. It gets really difficult. And as you guys can see, I'm low HP. So what do I do? I stand here. And there is nothing that this Leon can do. There is literally a 0% chance if I throw my turret down that this Leon can do anything. It cannot get our present and leave. There's absolutely nothing it can do. Jesse is the easily best defender brawler in my opinion in the game. But we're going to move on down the list to talk about another defender brawler that I'm going to rank a little bit higher for some other reasons. So let's get into it and let's continue this list. So coming in at number two, we're going to have 8-Bit. Now 8-Bit is a very, very strong brawler. In the current meta and even stronger when it comes to present plunder now, i know we missed the goal over here um i like to get into games a little bit into it rather than at the very start so we kill some dead time but 8-bit is just an absolute laser of a brawler right now the buff to the to the uh to the turret whatever it's called 50 percent damage boost that's what it is is just absolutely ridiculous you can make some really cool plays by with your teleport gadget and your throws, I try to advance the ball as much as I can. We almost get a goal with that present. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to. But 8-Bit is just an absolute laser. It's a ridiculous defender. Very similar to Jesse. 
it's very strong to where if you're defending, there is literally nothing that the opponent's team can do because you're just sitting back and lasering them. Now, why is this brawler above Jesse is the question that you guys probably want to know. It is because in overtime, which does happen a fair amount in present plunder, I would say one every five games with the new maps that are out that are more even, very slow paced. This is by far the best brawler when it comes to overtime and it's not even close. You have a ridiculous advantage every single game that you get into overtime and you have 8-bit. It is by far the best. It carries your team in overtime. You just laser every single brawler. And with the meta that there is in present, the brawlers that you face in overtime are, is just so easy to beat when you're in 8-bit. There's nothing the opposing team can do. As you guys can see, just making plays over here and plays where you would never be able to make. And that's just a loss right there with every other brawler. I'm able to just teleport over to the other side of the wall and just get really easy kill and save the game. Now, the team we're facing is a very strong team. These are very good players that we play in tournaments that we lose to in ladder sometimes. They are very good. But once it gets into overtime, 8-bit is just an absolute unit. You put that that uh, that damage turret down and there's just nothing that the opponent's team can do. Take out the Nita easily. Take out the Mr. P easily. And it's just a GG. Every single turret that the other team has, you take out easily. 8-bit is just such a strong brawler when it comes to overtime. It's just an automatic win. And spoiler alert, this comes down to one second left, but we do end up winning the game. So we're going to end this right here. We're going to move on to the very best brawler in this mode so let's go on let's show you guys what it is and let's get into it now coming in at the number one spot in the very best brawler in present plunder this one should have been fairly obvious but we're going to be going with nita now nita is an insane brawler in present plunder it is so good so strong it counters basically the entirety of the meta besides 8-bit until overtime or 8-bit in overtime sorry it's just so good it's so strong the bear is really what does carry, and there's a lot of different builds that you can have with your bear. Personally, what I like to do is I like to have the heal a bear. I think that's what it well, that's what it's called. So where the bear heals you and you heal the bear. Additionally, the gadget I like to use shield, so it just becomes really hard to kill you as Anita and to kill that bear. The Anita is just so strong. The actual bear takes so many shots to kill, and against this meta, it's just super good, super tanky, and it's just extremely strong on attack in the mid, in overtime, and on defense. It covers all four phases of present plunder. Just one of the strongest brawlers easily. So good, so consistent throughout the entirety of the game in any mode, any map. It is just easily one of the best, if not the best brawlers in any given circumstance. And that is why Nita is going to be our number one brawler. So if you guys like this list, let me know. I can go over present plunder a little bit more or talk about this meta in general because the meta has completely changed from what it was a few days ago with the balance changes. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.